originally thought of the one show as, as primarily a New York show, but it's really seemed to grow globally. And I have always felt like if you win an award in the one show, you're doing really well. It's hard to get into. It's very elite. Um, and to be asked to be a judge um, instantly meant a lot to me. So it's, uh, it's an honor to be here. Because the show has grown, I think, so quickly, is that the range of work has expanded, the entries have expanded, and I'm seeing work from South America, Asia, China, a lot of work from India. Um, and it's, it's really a global show. As, a, as all design, I think the uh, cream rises to the top pretty quickly. There's um, some extraordinary pieces in the show. You know, it's interesting how I could see the people unrolling some of the new entries to judge, and it's from across the room, you can see a winning entry many times, um, especially with the posters or bigger format images. It kind of is glowing over there among some of the other work. For me, it's always a great idea and impeccable execution and uh, attention to detail. I think those are the top three reasons uh, or the top three things that you judge a design by. I mean, you've got to really read the entries and you can't, uh, and if it's a language that you don't speak then you really have to look at what, what, what's going on. Right now in design you see some things that are, that are going very retro and and wanting to hang on to some of the old styles and the romance of the past. And then other, other projects that are reaching toward the future in a very modern way. Design is available. Uh, I think design is available to a much larger mass, so there's a greater awareness for it. I think that fine design with all of the um, intricate details still lives in a space unto itself. Uh, and it's, it's still a craft. Design's changed dramatically in the 21st century, and I think in some ways we're still judging it like it's in the 20th century. We're still looking at it cosmetically. Uh, we're still looking at design as, as objects, and many of the best design so solutions here aren't objects, but they're systems. I think the design of the package means a lot to people. I think, I mean, myself, I admit, when I'm bottle, buying a bottle of wine, I'm looking at the label. Um, you know, that's that's a big part of, of buying that package. It makes me want to reach out and grab it and take it home and live with it. If the label isn't really appealing to me, doesn't speak to me, I'd, I'd just as soon not bring it home. I mean, the cereal, the cereal I eat, it's got to be a nice package. I want to live around, you know, nice design. Many advertising agencies are really becoming adept at figuring out how design thinking works. Um, and so some of the more interesting design systems thinking is coming out of advertising agencies. I was just talking to Kit Heinrichs about how great it would be if, if people actually slapped glue on the back of posters and put them up two or three in a row on brick buildings. And uh, that's kind of the, the ultimate romance of posters. But uh, people do like giving away posters. They like selling posters. They like merchandising things. Um, and uh, it's, it's really kind of the ultimate advertisement. It's got to speak really quickly. It's got to grab, grab your attention within two seconds uh, to pull you into the message.